Hey, hello, hello everyone. Hope all are doing fine. Me, very fine. So definitely all everything is fine. So definitely, guys. Today in this video, I'm going to make hook design in AutoCAD. So, जिसको हिंदी में लेक्चर देखना है, हिंदी में भी already uploaded है मेरे YouTube channel पे. So definitely go and watch. But this video, I'm going to make you in English language because of my viewers. हालांकि मेरा इंग्लिश बहुत अच्छा नहीं है यार ऑल दो आई एम सेक्रीफाइजिंग सो यू शुड ऑल्सो गिव योर बेस्ट ऑन माई चैनल ओके एंड डेफिनेटली आई एल गिव यू द मोर एक्सपेंसिव कॉन्टेंट एवर ओके और चैनल पर नए हो तो यार प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब कर लो क्योंकि सिर्फ नॉलेज ही नहीं बल्कि हम लोग मस्ती ये बहुत करते हैं यकीन नहीं तो यार सब्सक्राइब करके देख लो ओके सो चलिए अब काम के बाद पर आते हैं ठीक है तो चलते हैं हम लोग अपने लैपटॉप की स्क्रीन पे सो so, वहाँ पे चलते हैं हम लोग और ड्राइंग को बनाते हैं लेट्स कम टू द स्क्रीन नाउ लेट्स मूव सो वी आर ऑन द स्क्रीन सो यू कैन सी हियर द पिक्चर ऑफ हुक डिज़ाइन ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो विल टॉक अबाउट दिस टू डी क्रेन हुक डिज़ाइन so let's get started our this tutorial for that first of all we have to set the units into millimeters because this is a mechanical drawing so for setting the units just type un this is the shortcut key for units command press enter it is selected decimal which is okay and only you have to change the scale okay so click on this drop down menu and select this millimeters option so click and then okay now we'll start from this portion okay so here the data is given okay all the dimensions are given so we'll make this drawing by the helping of dimensions so first of all we go from here to upward which is the 15 mm then we'll come here to right side which is 16 mm then we'll come down again 15 mm and first close this line so for that take a line command from here and i'll just on my ortho mode and i'll start from here so here okay so first i'll go upward which is 15 mm press enter we'll go right side which is 16 mm press enter we'll come down which is 15 again press enter and simply you can type the value or just simply click over to this end point so this is the close figure okay now we'll make this angular line which is the at an angle of 45 degree here you can see 45 degree and 2 into 45 means the distance is 2 okay from here to here distance is 2 at the angle of 45 degree so we'll make this line so for that just take again line command from here and now just on this restrict cursor to a specified angle and just click to this drop down menu and select angle 45 okay now just click over here and your a uh, green tracking point will exact uh, get you at the angle of 45 degree here you can see the angle which is the 45 degree and now press 2 which is distance press enter all right then escape key so we want this line we want this line here also so we'll simply mirror this so just select this line type mi for mirror command press enter and now specify first point of mirror line give first point mirror line to this and second point give to this line 
and then say no okay then we'll simply close this line by the helping of line command so take line command and just close it all right now we'll make this okay so here you can see this is the line with curve and this is the okay which we will make now so for this total distance from here to here which is the uh, given which is diameter 24 and this is the total 4 4 diameter okay so we'll make this so first of all we'll offset this line towards the downward at the distance of 4 so take offset press o for enter okay o offset and now give the distance which is 4 press enter and just click on this line and click downward okay now i just take a line from this mid to mid okay and we'll take offset which is total distance is 24 so we'll make the partition which is at the distance of 12 from right and left type o for offset press enter and give the distance 12 press enter and select this line click towards the right hand side select this line click towards the left hand side and now press escape button now we'll extend this line okay so type ex double enter and simply touch to this line okay it will be connected to this line again touch this line touch this line and touch this line all right now here is the curve okay or you can say that the semicircle so the distance is total 4 so simply we will do the fillet command okay so total is 4 so the radius is definitely 2 because the diameter is 4 so radius is 2 so type f for fillet command press enter and now go to the radius option and give the radius to press enter and click first on this line and click second to this line again press enter to repeat this fillet command click first line second line click over here so we'll do the same at the right hand side so again press enter to repeat the fillet command click first point here second point here and again press enter click first here and second here all right so now delete this helping line now will come here which is the 36 okay will come downward at the distance of 36 and make this uh, radius 5 circle so simple take a line from this midpoint and come down which is the 36 press enter then escape key and now we'll go to the circle drop down menu option and choose the center radius option and now we'll make a circle which is radius 15 press enter okay now what will we do we have to just make this curve also which is the connected to this circle of tangent so for making this first we have to draw this type of curve okay so for that the distance from here to here which is total 4 which is so what will we do simply just go to the drop down menu of the circle take two point and click first point over this end point and second point come down and give the value which is total 4 press enter all right now we'll make this type of curve which is the uh, actually made from the tan tan radius so again click over here on the drop down menu select tan tan radius click over here and give first click here and second click 
here and the distance sorry the radius is given which is 22 so press 22 press enter all right we'll trim this extra portion which is going outside for that tr double enter and click over here to trim this and trim this trim this trim this and also trim this okay all right now we'll do that which is you can see here from this to this distance is 5 and this circle radius 35 is actually made so from here to here first we'll go 5 distance and then we'll create a 35 circle okay so for that just go to drop down menu choose center radius option and keep your cursor here and track so you can see here the green point is actually your tracking point so only just press 5 press enter and now give the radius which is 35 press enter all right now again we'll move towards the right hand side at the distance of 5 and we'll make this 30 radius so again choose the center radius option and this time make sure your your line will be from this center point so just track it and type only 5 press enter and now give the radius 30 press enter okay we'll trim this okay so tr double enter and just trim this all right so now we'll make this curve okay which is radius 7 so take a line for that from here to here okay so uh, take at random line so i click over here and skip button so i trim extra portion so tr double enter and i'll just trim it okay and now will make the fillet command so type f press enter and go to the radius option and give the radius 7 press enter click first to the circle second to this line okay and i'll just trim this extra edge here so tr double enter and just trim it alright so I'll move this a little bit okay so that I'll get space alright so again what will we do we'll go from here to here which is the distance of 32 from here to here we'll go 32 then will go upward which is the 10 mm and create this radius 3 circle so simply take a line over here and just from here to here come I'll just on my ortho and I'll just put 32 press enter I'll go upward which is 10 mm press enter then escape key okay now I'll just create this circle center radius option so from here so radius 3 simply type 3 press enter okay now what will we do so we first first trim this okay so that uh, you will not confuse okay so all right we don't want this also so So now I'll just delete this helping line so that you will not get confused. Okay, all right, guys. Now what will we do? 
will make the curve this type of curve which is the passing through this tangent of this 15 circle radius so the radius is 38 so we'll make from tan tan radius so just click over here and go to the tan tan radius option first click over here and second click over here and give the radius 38 press enter okay and now we'll trim this so tr double enter and just trim it trim this and trim this trim this also now we'll make this also curve okay which is the radius 20 same we'll make from the tandem radius so again just choose the tandem radius first click over here and second click over here and give the radius 20 press enter all right now just trim the extra portion so tr double enter and just trim this trim this and trim this we'll also trim this okay if this is not uh, trimming from your version because this is the i'm using which is autodesk autocad 2021 okay so in this version we'll get uh, very new features which is the very beneficial uh, actually especially for the trim command so i can even trim this extra portion also so you can see here i'll just trim also all the portion which is not intersecting so i'll also trim this line also i'll just show you how this line will not trim in our previous version but in this version we can trim this also so tr double enter so i can just remove it okay no need to delete okay we can do this by the help of trim command also so if again we'll see you if you just press one time enter you can also use your trim command so tr enter and now you can see i'll just simply remove these okay so guys your drawing actually has been made up so how is the lecture tell me in our comment section so guys thank you guys for being here